Hey everybody, this is Jeff, and I'm coming to you with another arcade video. Um, here I am, I'm in my basement, uh, my little arcade area, but uh, one thing you're not going to see in here that I'm going to be making is a mini cocktail. Um, if you've watched any of my videos before, uh, you will know that I have made a few mini cocktail machines, and uh, I got uh, a request, um, corresponded with a fella from my YouTube channel, and um, he is very interested in one of my mini cocktails, um, and I'm going to be going through and making that, uh, and I've actually started already, I'm um, just doing a little intro to what I'm going to be posting. So I'm going to post uh, a couple, maybe three, I don't know how many um, parts on this, but um, I'm going to go ahead and post the first part uh, now and uh, I'm going to show you all the woodworking and what I do. Uh, these are going to be long videos, so um, if you want to skim through them and find the pieces and parts that you uh, find interesting, uh, obviously feel free. But uh, hopefully uh, you guys will get something out of this. I'm going to show you my router and uh, what I do with the routing and cutting and uh, really just the details of everything. Uh, so that's what this part is, and then I've got another part where it'll be uh, putting it together and the screws that I use and uh, that type of stuff and uh, we'll just see how this develops. So uh, I hope you enjoy this and uh, without further ado here I go out to the backyard to begin my mini cocktail uh, for my new online friend that will soon be getting it. Alright guys um, this is Jeff and I am back with an arcade video and you might be wondering why am I uh, showing you a bunch of tools. Well, um, this is the stuff that I use to make my mini arcades or anything like that. So I had a request to um, a while back now, but uh, this is the, my first chance that I've had to to actually build a mini arcade. I'm building this mini arcade for uh, a new friend of mine, someone I just met online who uh, commented on one of my videos and he's very interested. So I'm going to go ahead and build him one of these. But I thought I'd take the opportunity to uh, show you guys. Um, I've got my little flip set up here. Uh, hopefully uh, this will work. Um, I can kind of show you my little setup and what I do uh, for the woodworking. Uh, don't laugh at my uh, setup. I'm out here in my backyard. I don't have much of a yard. I've got a tiny shed and I've got a townhouse over here uh, that has no garage on it. And um, I have a very small laundry room slash uh, workbench area so I can't do my woodworking inside so I have to kind of make everything outside um, and uh, but I've got this piece of wood that you know you'll see I just make do with what I got so I wanted to show you this is what I've been using uh, for my routing and uh, this is a, a Ryobi it's been really good I don't really care about what the brand name is other than I know it's a good name but it was on sale at uh, Home Depot I got this for $50 and uh, this is the router bit that I use okay so if you can see this router bit try to zoom in on it and show you focus a little bit okay so basically it's just got a small little curve on it okay so all you want is the router bit with the small curve and you want the very top of this curve to be flush okay so if you look at that like that you'll see that that's where I get my rounded edge and you'll you'll see how it turns out but um, that's my router um, I have a, a cordless um, smaller cutoff saw here it's a craftsman really nice um, I end up getting a kit with this and uh, something else this uh, cutoff saw and then I also went and got the uh, the craftsman uh, Elect uh, cordless drill that goes with the uh, batteries and this works for me because the wood that I use over here right there is uh, the MDF wood so it's quite soft and, and it skims through it I don't know how well it's going to work because I hope my batteries got enough ju juice in it but uh, I'm thinking about getting one that's for plugging but uh, and then I've just got my old jigsaw this is literally a really old skill jigsaw and uh, and I use this for uh, some of the cuts uh, which is really nice and this one's electric and then for the rest of my whole setup I basically ended up uh, 
getting a uh, a set of bits. And you can find these, you know, pretty inexpensive at places. But these are good bits that I can that I use. And this is a nice little set of bits that I use. And this is an awesome uh, little thing I found on sale as well. But I mean, these are wonderful. I use this for uh, for all the little screws that I put in. But uh, and then I use these clamps down here, and I just got some various things. So I will go ahead and uh, show you guys how I do this. Um, and I'll be right, back. Guys, in I just minute. wanted to show you. This is my, you know, this my handwritten measurements that I kind of re refer back to. Um, there's nothing fancy about this at all. I actually have them posted out there if you want them. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is um, I'm going to do this side, and because uh, that's where most of the routing call comes in, and uh, it's going to be uh, 29 inches long, and then. Uh, what I'm going to do is, is I've got two measurements depending on what I do. I'm going to do the four and a half because the, mo the monitor I have is a little bit thicker. I want to make sure that it'll fit in there, so it's going to be four and a half tall, and then I'll cut these slots in there. Um, so I am going to show you that now. He's scared. This thing is going to fall. here for is clamping. That's good enough. So not much to this, but I'll show you anyway. This is just cut off saw work. Okay, so I can see, you can see all how that really makes that, that dust, and then I'll just cut this down the middle, so I'll be back and show you that in a minute. I know this is not the best part, the, the routing part is really what I want to show you, so be back in a minute. Alright, I'll go ahead and show you this cut, um, this is just cutting it with the, the saw, but I figured I'd show you all the steps that I'm doing here. Might as well go for it, right? I should be wearing my safety glasses, but I can't find them, so I'll just squint. Um, all right, here goes. Okay, so that's one of the sides and then I'll end up cutting these and this will be the other side. The nice thing is is that uh, I don't have to end up using a table saw because of the routing. So I don't have to be super exact with that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, draw these lines and then I'll show you how I cut those. Alright, I cut this and then the, now the next piece is going to be um, to cut here to here, right? So I got to cut that piece out. So then what I end up doing is is it's five and a half, right? Five and a half inches from the corner over to here, and then over on this side. Uh, actually, I got it on this end is the measurement. Then I've got a measurement of either two and a half or two and three quarters, 
uh, depending upon what I want. And uh, I think what I want now, because I am at the four and a half, or the four and a half mark, I want to do two and three quarters. So I end up doing two and three quarters here. Okay? So I'll be doing that now. All right, guys, I've got this um, marked out here. Uh, hopefully you can see that. So I'm gonna cut that off. I, I, I used to use a jigsaw for this, but I found out that it's actually even a cleaner cut with this. And so here goes. This part's the, the trickiest part right here, if you can see what I'm doing. You just want to make sure you're real still on that because you want that corner to be nice. And again, we're going to be routing it so it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Uh, and then we'll be sanding it. So that's the beauty of that. Uh, if you mess up at all, then it's not that big a deal. All right. Let's throw a little clamp on that. We'll get these two done. on the ears? Yeah. All right. There we go. Now it's ready. Uh, and then I'll, uh, I'll clamp it down and show you how, the, how we do the routing. So I just want to right point back. out, see I got it clamped down here, but it's actually a little bit tedious with this handheld router um, where you have to kind of, you can only do a certain amount and you have to kind of reclamp it because uh, we're going to be, we're going to be routing all the way around and then we're also going to do this side. So this whole thing gets routed on this side and then the whole thing gets routed on the other side. Um, I actually have a router table in there that I picked up on the cheap. Um, it was 150 bucks at Home Depot, and I have yet to use it. Um, but I wanted to show you the, uh, the my original way of doing this because I actually haven't used that one yet. So, uh, and this is a lot cheaper version. So uh, if you're not in a huge hurry, uh, this will work. So uh, I will show you now. All right, guys, here goes. It goes with the router. It's going to be quite loud. This is even louder than the other stuff. So. Not sure how this is going to turn out, if you have to turn it down or if I'm going to put some, uh, I don't know, music or something while I'm doing this. We'll see what happens. Alright, this thing's pretty powerful, so obviously you got to be careful. All right, let me just show you the one side here. So this is what it looks like when you've done one side. Okay, so you can see that seam. See the, the seam here, right? Right, this seam right here, that's the part we have to sand off. Uh, and then when I do the other side, right, once I route this side, there'll actually be a small little seam down the middle, and I'll show you that. But that'll be the part that we sand. Um, I'm not sure how much you saw that other video. I'll, I'll show you. I'll do some more videos of this, but uh, my battery died in the flip, so I'm charging it right now. Um, but we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and do, do the other side, and then I'll show you some of these finished products. All right, my uh, my flip died, so my son's going to video this. He's going to try to get a nice close view of over here yep. as it goes along. So here we go. Hold your ears.
Okay, keep going, bub. And I'm going to flip this around. And then I'm going to have him go on the end over here so he can see the end part. Which is a little tricky. So go ahead and stand over there. Are you still videoing? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, go ahead and lower go lower and I'm going to I want you to kind of get a nice view of that part. He's very helpful. Not not quite. <laughs> Not quite that close. What? Back up a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna need to take that clamp off. Well, I can't take that clamp off. Alright, hold on guys. Okay. Alright Wes, ready? Uh -huh. We're going to get that right there. He did a good job. I'm sure he did. But here's the finished product. Uh, as far as the routing is concerned. Hopefully you can see that. So, let's see if I can focus a little bit. It's getting dark out here. Come on, focus. Right, hopefully that's focused. But there's a little, hold up, Bob. Okay, sorry. There's a little um, seam there. You can see this part right here and this part on this side. So that's that's where we're going to have to do the sanding. Um, I don't know if I'll video any of the sanding uh, because really, well, I'll, I'll show you what I do a little bit on the sanding. Um, but the sanding part is I've got a sander. I haven't showed you that yet, but I'll, I'll show you in a minute. All right, just to show you the sander I got here, nice little black and decker. You can use any sander, but uh, this is just the one I got. Um, it's I like this because it's got this nice tip on here, uh, which is good for getting little corners and stuff. But you know, really, this is just sanding. But I'll show you a little bit of it. Basically, I'll show you how we take these edges down. All right, so there's the finished product. I was running out of light outside there, but uh, I don't know how much you got of that sanding bit until my flip died again, but uh, hopefully you can see that. I'll give you a little bit of a close-up. Right, so we basically we just took that edge off, and then I used, I used pretty heavy grit sandpaper. Uh, the nice thing is, is this MDF, it, it's very moldable, if that's a the right word to use but then what I'll do is I'll take some uh, finer grit sandpaper and just take it in my hand and kind of go across it uh, and make it nice and nice and smooth but now you can see that basically that's that's the routing part that's how I make my edge um, hopefully that helped out on the routing part I will come back and I'll do some more um, of the other pieces and just show you how I put it together piece by piece um, because um, I was asked to do that by a, a few people out there, so I figured uh, why not do it while I had the opportunity. So there we go. That's one of the sides. I'm going to go out and sand the other side even though it's a little bit dark. And uh, I will come back to you on another day and uh, show you some more of the rest. Alright folks, uh, this is day two. I'm coming back for some of the more of the uh, doing the boards, uh, the woodworking here uh, with this MDF. And uh, of course, I got my setup here um, outside, and uh, I'm doing the uh, control panels right now. So, uh, just look over here. I'll show you what I've done. And um, so, let's see, get a little focus on this right now. So, we're doing the control panels, uh, which of course will go in this slot right here, right? So. Um,
what we're going to do is five and three quarters and across 15 inches. So we're going to have two control panels, 15 inches by five and three quarters. And I have cut one of them right here. I didn't think I needed to show you that. Just, uh, but, and then what I'm going to do is, is now that I've got this, they're going to be exactly the same. I'll just go ahead and mark this up and draw it off. I won't even have to worry about measuring it. Uh, it's just a little cheap. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to route the uh, edges along the top. Now I won't route the bottom, um, just the top, because I think it looks better. There's no reason to route the bottom because that part won't be showing. Uh, and I'll show you that as well. Because um, I know some of my videos cut off. My blip is pr works pretty good, but the battery's not very good. Um, and then I'm going to be drilling the holes in there, and I'll show you how to do that as well. So I'll be back. All right, we'll see how the battery does on this, but I'm going to go ahead and route this um, so you can see what I'm doing. see that but got that much so then we'll just spin it around here actually I think I'll just do it like this probably should have done it like this to begin with hopefully you can see that again this is doing it with this regular this regular router here not the routing table All right, so hopefully you can see that. So we're just gonna route that, and then when I'll come back, I'll come back and sand that. I'm gonna go ahead and route the other one, and then I'll, I'll do all my sand in here in a minute. I'll be back. All right, the last piece I had to cut, um, as far as uh, with my cutoff saw over here, um, was the pieces that fill in this spot right here, right? So this is the bottom piece. This is uh, right here will be the control panel, but you've got a, a, a spot right there we've got to fill in. And um, it says here one and three eighths, but what you have to do is, is if you, if you do four and a half on height instead of four and a quarter, you've got to kind of go in and measure that. So what I ended up doing was one and three quarter uh, fit really nicely in here uh, for these two pieces. So basically I just cut a one and three quarter piece. I won't have to route that at all, but what I'll do is I'll just sand it uh, a little bit to smooth off the edges uh, and make it a nice piece of wood to, to fill in there. And I'll show you how that all goes together here in a little bit. Uh, and what I'm gonna do now is do the uh, control panels. I'm gonna go ahead and route it and uh, I'll go ahead and video that as well. Um, and we'll see what ends up in the video, uh, the whole video that is. All right guys, I've got, um, the control panels uh, and the, the end pieces all sanded down. Um, you can see, what, uh, basically it's like a 220 on my, my sander and then I take like a 100 grit over it and uh, that seems to be fine enough to, uh, to sand everything down. 
uh, nice and smooth. And then now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to drill the holes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hold this still for a moment so you can see all these measurements. And I have this in the, uh, I'll go ahead and put these in the, um, the description of my video. Um, they're also in the description of my um, mini cocktail part two, my original ones um, as well. But um, I'm not going to have to go over these too much. Now, obviously, if you do three buttons, um, then uh, you'll have to alter these a bit. But uh, the, these are my measurements from what I've got. But uh, what I've done is, is when I did the first one, I have a template. I actually screwed this up on my first, very first one. It was, uh, wasn't wide enough. So I actually ended up keeping it as a template, and I actually made another template for my three-button one. So all I'm going to do is, uh, you can see I put that as bottom, right? You can see how it's not the right size. But if I line this up on the bottom down here, well, all I'm going to do is going to circles dots in the middle uh, and then uh, use uh, an inch and a quarter bit I think I'll come back to that in just a minute but uh, I'll show you how I drill these holes and I guys figured I would uh, just show you me drilling these holes um, basically I'm uh, using an inch and a quarter let me see, make sure you can see that inch and an eighth sorry inch and an eighth this is perfect for the button holes and it works great for the joystick so you can clamp it if you like. Um, I tend to clamp it because I just like to make sure it's nice and secure and why not if I've got the ability to do it. And then uh, keep it right in the middle there. Excuse me. A lot of dust going on here. but. All right, there's one hole. Not too bad. This MDF is a lot softer, so it goes through quicker. And there we go. And it makes a little bit of a mess on the bottom, but you're not gonna see that anyway. All right, so that's one hole. I'm gonna go ahead and finish these other four, uh, actually five, other four holes. I have five on this one, and uh, I'll have three on the other one. Uh, this will be the one and two player, so I won't need but three holes on the other side. And I'll be back after I'm done with that. Alright, finished product here on the control panel holes. So, there we go. We got the one and two player. Joystick in the middle. And uh, one and two fire buttons. And a joystick and a one and two fire buttons. And I just, uh, you know, just took a little sandpaper around the edge and on the inside. Make it kind of clean. But, uh... The, the buttons will cover this up, uh, and then there'll be a joystick cover that covers this up anyway. Um, and uh, and then I'll end up, there'll be a, a graphic that goes over top of this whole thing. And then when I put the graphic on, I'll cut this out and I'll show you how I do that too. But uh, the next piece, and really the last bit of cutting, is another sneeze, pardon me, is on the side. I'm going to go grab one of the sides. And we have to do the test switch hole, which is a three quarter inch hole for the test switch. Uh, we have to do a two and a quarter, let's see if I can see that, two and a quarter by one and an eighth uh, slot for the power supply. And then that'll slide in there, okay? And then this one's got to be just precise, or fairly precise, which is basically a half an inch up. Um, which means that uh, the half inch piece that's the bottom uh, basically will fill that half inch right there and then it's a half inch this way and an inch and three eighths uh, going across this way and this is for the SD card um, extender um, and I will, uh, you'll see what I mean but uh, I gotta cut those three little holes there so it's not a lot of cutting but just gotta be kinda precise especially on this one here 
So I'll be back and show you that. Okay, my flip officially died, so I've rigged up something with my iPhone here. So don't mind the box. Hopefully it won't fall over, blow over. All right, I'm gonna show you how to cut the how I cut this out. So uh, you can see this is uh, the two and a quarter inch over here, one and eighth inch this way. So I've got a little uh, box cut out. Let me see if you can't see that. Let me show you real quick. All right, so there's there. I went ahead and drilled the three quarter inch hole. So I use a three quarter inch bit for the uh, test switch. All right, so here's the little test switch. And then this is the power supply right here, which will slide down in there. So you've got to be kind of precise to get it just snug um, for it to work. So let's see what I can do. Put this back up here. And then I start with uh, a bit in the corners so that I can get my jigsaw bit in there. All right, so I'll show you the jigsaw bit. So there's the jigsaw bit, but it's got to be uh, big enough to, f to slide that in there. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. Don't, uh... <laughs> okay, here we go. Might be a little too close. Let's do it over here. Okay, one in that corner. Okay, so like you can see, I put one in each corner. Now I can get the jigsaw bit in there and then cut all the way around. I felt a little too close over there, so I just decided to go to this corner. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing here with the jigsaw next. Okay. This is kind of freehand, so you just got to be, watch that blade. It's kind of loud, so hold your ears. Okay, there's two cuts from this hole. Now I'll take two cuts from this hole. And I'll have to take this clamp off to get to this one. I have to go to the other side as well. Okay. There we go. Let's see what that looks like. So there's our square. Will this baby fit? I think if I had two hands, it would probably fit right down in there. Uh, and if it doesn't, you can kind of just um, take a take a your drill bit and kind of skim across this. You know, just to skim a little bit of the edge. You can see where I was a little bit off right there. But you know you can kind of just or file or something just enough to get this to slide down in there because you want it nice and snug because um, you want you don't want it to go too far out over these edges because this edge is pretty pretty small uh, and then the last hole uh, would be over here for the SD card extender so I'm going to show you that that's the piece that will sit and what you'll see on the outside is that. So we want the hole to be about that size. And then this extends back into here. It's a really cool little addition. Uh, and then right here goes into the board. So this way, the board doesn't have to be right up against here. I can extend out and you can get to the SD card for updates and things like that right from the outside. So I'll show you that in a minute. All right, I got this marked off. So this is, is um, an inch and three eighths and uh, a half inch right there and then it's a half inch from here. Usually I just take a piece of, of this and uh, line it up 
because this will be the like a simulate the bottom piece so I want that line to be right on the bottom um, of the bottom uh, bottom part of the arcade and uh, and then I actually do another one like that for a half inch because this tends to be exactly what I need for this um, it gets a little fat in the middle so you want it tight and snug but not too tight uh, because you can put a clamp I'll put, a, I'll put a clamp over it and everything to keep it in place once it's inside, so I'll show you that later. Um, but this is basically the same concept. I'm not going to video it. Same concept as this hole, um, but I'll just drill down in there and jigsaw that out. And I'll be back later with another part of this video. This will actually kind of conclude the uh, the woodworking part. Um, but then I'll show you how I put it all together with the with all the pieces I did over there and the sides and the bottom. Uh, and I will be back um, later on. Till then, bye. All right, guys. I hope that you enjoyed that. Um, got something out of it. Uh, you know, I'm I'm not a, a, an expert woodworker. I'm not an expert uh, electronics guy. I'm just really sort of a, a handyman, and I just uh, try to do the best I can uh, with what I got. And uh, I'm sure you can see that from the uh, basic things that I have. But um, you know, I figure it out uh, as I go. And uh, hopefully, you got something out of it. And uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, let me know. Um, I'd be happy to help if I can. Uh, that's why I'm doing the videos. So uh, stay tuned for part two coming soon. And until then, game on.